Minecraft day. Yeah, it's Minecraft day. So, this is Minecraft. Obviously, if you haven't played Minecraft, then get with it. It's the 21st century, and we all notice that Minecraft actually has a physics engine in it. You know, everything's in blocks. So, what we're going to do is we're going to assume that each block is a meter tall. Does that make sense? That makes sense. So, so it's a meter. So each block is three feet, and that makes sense. Who's who's Red Legacy? Uh, that's a, is that Brendan? No, that's a no, that's DJ. Yeah. DJ, come here. Stand right here. Stand right here up against this. So if you notice, um, how tall is DJ? Well, he's, well, he's two. He's almost two meters, right? And there's a little bit of difference between that. And that's actually, Steve is actually mimicked after the real life, life situations of a six foot tall man. So here I am, I'm six foot two, and I'm actually a little bit below two meters. So Steve actually has some real world characteristics built into it as well. Does that make sense? So now, so if we know that each block is pretty much a meter and we, we can assume it to be a meter and it's actually pretty realistic, what do y'all think the gravity is gonna be? Do you think it'll be close to Earth's or different? Think it'll be close to Earth, right? Because if not, example, if you're playing a video game and the gravity is not close to Earth's, we can pick it up. Does that make sense? Because we can jump off stuff like this and we can kind of think, well, okay, that seems realistic or it doesn't. I mean, in the real life, I just broke my knee in half. Okay, so if we know, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to find the acceleration of gravity in Minecraft. Now, how can we do this? Example, remember in kinematics, um, there I built a little tower here. If we know how tall this is, it should be should be 10. It's 10 blocks tall. So that means this is 10 meters in the air. So if we know how high it is. What's some variables we need to find if I were to drop something off of it? What, what's the main variable we need? I mean, anybody? Anybody in the chat? Anybody in here? What's the main, what's the variable we need to find if we know how high it is to find gravity? Be a little hint. It goes tick-tock. Time. Time, yes. If we can find the time it takes to fall, then guess what? We can then get a good, accurate representation of how long or gravity or... or the actual gravity in Minecraft. Now we're going to have some latency lag in here. So what I'm going to do, make sure there's no phantoms. Don't mark me. So notice, I got to give you some education on Minecraft though. Now Minecraft, you can build some crazy things. If you notice, this is out of dirt. Can I build this structure in real life? Yes or no? Hanging out. No. So that's why Minecraft's kind of cool because you can build structures that are ridiculous and crazy but there's two different types of blocks in minecraft there are called non-gravity blocks which dirt is and then there's something called a gravity block now as anybody who plays minecraft and minecraft nerd what is a gravity block yeah Kevin. but what so what do they do example if i place dirt right here it just stays there right it doesn't fall. <laughs> yeah! Woo! This is awesome. Okay. Are you alive? Who's, who's Jebediah Evil Man? Who is that? This is great. Okay. So here we go. I don't even know. So example, now that was dirt. It doesn't move. But if I were to play sand, what does it do? It falls. Hey, Jebediah. Who, who is Jebediah? Who don't care? Destroy that block for me, please. The sand block. So it falls. So example, that is what we call a gravity block. And gravel, sand, and there's some other ones. I think a, the dragon's egg is a gravity block. As in, when you place them, they should fall. Now notice, this block also has inertia. It's a little more, for, remember whenever you jump off a cliff or something, or you drop something, as soon as you release your hand from that object, does it fall instantly? Yes or no? No. Because the object has inertia and it doesn't want to move. So just like this block, it doesn't move until I, until I guess gravity starts to accelerate it downwards. So for, for some split second, it's not moving. So what we need to do is we need to time how long it takes this block to fall as soon as it starts to move to when it hits the ground. So you'll need to have your phones out 
and we're going to time it. And we're going to take an inch. So, Jesse, can you be my scribe and write down everybody's time for me? Um, you don't have your phone? Okay, Phil's got me. Okay, we'll do it together. And you and you guys out on the chat at home, I'm going to count to three. I'm going to go one, two, three, and we'll place it. And as soon as you see the block fall, you start it, and then we'll stop it, okay? That makes sense? So, Anime Daddy and Jim and Evil Man, Evilman, can y'all do that for me? So, kill this block down here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you're going to get oh. – Jump oh. <laughs> 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 in the water. I was shooting – I was, he's, he's, he's all mad at me. I was shooting at the zombie. I'm sorry. I missed. The cow right there. Probably Swagger. Yeah! <laughs> yes! Love it. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Forgive me. Yeah, physics. Yeah, physics. Okay. So I'm going to place this, and then we're going to and we're gonna see how long it takes to fall. So everybody can have your phones out, and we can do it together. So it might be better to see the field. Okay. All right. Get my phone out. Get my stopwatch. Reset it. Okay. You ready? So one, two, three, go. I got point nine. What'd y'all get? <laughs> so get, we got point nine for the first one. Anime, he's over there just killing mobs. So point nine. So we're going to do it again. Ready? One, two, three. I got point nine four again. So as soon as it starts to fall, so I'm going to place it, then you got to get ready. We'll kill that block again. We're going to do it about three or four times. You ready? One, two, three. Got right up, I got right at one second that time. Yeah. Did you get one second, too? Yeah. The other class, we got a little longer. Okay. Are you ready? The last one. One, two, three. I got 0.94. What'd you get? 0 0.98. 0 0.98. There we go. So now, what we have done is we've gotten some data points. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save this right here. I'm going to back out so that way I don't kill my data. Okay. Turn my VPN off. So what we're going to do now is we're going to analyze that data. So what we just did was a very, very simple experiment. And we're going to use kinematics to actually analyze... The acceleration of gravity in Minecraft. So this is very similar. This is very similar to what you have been doing. It's not identical. Okay. So then we have a guy on top of this. And guys, if you want to stay on the server, okay, stay on the server. I'll be back on the set. And we have this. And I was ten blocks off the ground, or ten meters. And I dropped the sand-based projectile, and it fell in the ground. Okay. So. There are some variables we need to look at. Remember, we're looking for the gravitational acceleration in my cab. I'm going to do that little g, big script here. Okay. So we're going to look for this variable. Now, as soon as I drop the block, what's the velocity initial in the y direction? Remember, as soon as I drop it, it was what? Was it moving? So we call that what? Zero. Chats are checking. Chats are. It's zero. It's not moving as soon as it's dropped. Remember, dropped. In physics, means your velocity initial is zero. Okay. Now, the other variables we know, we know how high the block was being dropped from. Now, it was 10 meters, right? Why is that not correct? The sign is incorrect. It needs to be what? Not positive 10, but it needs to be negative. Remember, it has to be negative 10 because think about this as the x, the, the origin. Zero, zero. When I drop this block, it doesn't end up 10 meters above me. It ends up 0, negative 10. It ends up below 10 meters where it is. Does that make sense? You have to code the kinematic equations. Okay? So we know this, this, and this. Okay. So now we have these variables, and we have time. So read out this time for me. Um, it was 0 0.9, 0 0.94, 1, and 0 0.98. Yeah. Or you had 0.94, and one had 0.98. I had another one for. 
Let me do this. So we have a day point table. One, two, uh, three, four, five. Because we've got five. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the average of those. So let's average those out. That's going to give us a good average top. So 0.9 plus 0.94 plus 1 plus 0.98 plus 0.94. That gives us a time of 4.76. We've got to divide that by 5 to get our time average. And we get about approximately 0 0.95 seconds. So that's how long it took this block to hit the ground. Okay? Make sense? Does everybody agree with that? Am I doing anything? Chat, am I doing anything that's blowing your mind? Yes or no? Anybody? No? No. No, this is stuff we've done before, okay? So we know that. We can now use this to solve for gravity. So remember, the hardest part is figuring out what kinematic equation to use. So ask yourself this. What's one variable that we did not find? Velocity what? Did you find the final velocity of the block? No. No, we did not find that. So what we're going to do is we've got to find a kinematic equation that does not have that. And remember, these are your base kinematics. Delta Y. I mean, these should be written down in your notes. And then we have this one. Okay, so again, so these are the base three kinematic equations. So if we don't have velocity final, can we use this kinematic equation right here? Yes or no? Does that have a velocity final there? Yeah, that, right? So guess what? I can't use this one. Does this one have a velocity final in it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't use it. Now, this one doesn't. It has no velocity final in it. What's up, chat? Oh, I didn't remove it from the beat. Unless you got backed out. Can you get back in? He's back in, obviously. Sorry about that. I don't, that's weird. We could have kicked you. So now we have this. So we, live, we have the displacement, we have the velocity initial, we have time. So we can use this equation now to solve for the gravity in Minecraft. So now we're going to use this equation and just plug and chug. So negative 10 equals 0 times uh, 0.95 plus g is looking for times 0 0.95 squared all over 2. So we come back over here. And what's zero times anything? So it just doesn't, that part of the equation goes away. So we're left with this. Negative 10 equals g times 0 0.95 squared all over 2. So we're just going to solve for g. So we're going to multiply both sides by 2, right? That's negative 20. And now solving for g, we've got to divide both sides by 0.95 squared. Right? So gravity is negative 20 divided by. Right. And that would actually give us the acceleration of gravity in Minecraft. So 20 divided by 0.95 squared. Boom. I get approximately 22.2 meters per second squared. It's negative. Now, is that a lot faster than ours? Yes or no? Yes, <laughs> that is. Remember, Earth's gravitational acceleration is right at negative 10. So that's almost, guess what, kids? Double! <laughs> that's double. That's almost double. So what's really cool is, if we have this number, right, and this is our theoretical Minecraft number, how can we test to see if that's right? We go back into Minecraft, we jump off of a known height, and we see how long it takes to guess what? Oh. Ooh. So, I've already done this. I have a mob spawner, obviously. It's, I use it as a lighter tower. It sits 61 meters or 61 blocks off the water. Okay? If I were to jump off that thing, how long would it take me to fall in Minecraft? So we can calculate it, then go back and actually do that make sense? So let's see. Let's see exactly how long it should take me to do it. So let's go to the next problem. So now I'm going to jump off. So I'm like, Ooh. Yeah. 
Uh, no, yeah, I have no clue. It will jump off some object in the water, and it's going to be 61 meters in the air, but 61 blocks high. So my velocity initial in the y direction is still going to be, guess what, zero. I'm going to make sure that when I run it, I just run straight off, and I don't jump any, I don't add any. I mean, the gravity in Minecraft, we calculated, what, approximately negative 22? So let's see if that's right. Um, what else do we know? Oh, we're trying to find uh, how long it would take to hit the water. And I'm telling you all, you pretty much use this same equation almost every single time. Oh, our displacement is negative 61. So now, we're just going to do this experiment, except now we're going to run it in reverse. Okay. Am I, I mean, this is just, this is, these are equations and these are problems that you have already done in your homework. And so now you're doing it for, uh, not necessarily a real life problem, but an esports virtual world problem. We can go back and test it. So if that's zero, negative 61, and that's going to be negative 22, it's negative because it's accelerating down. We're going to solve for that T right there. So again, I just took the variables that we calculated. This is the gravity that we are theoretical. And now we're just going to plug it in and see what we get. So that's what, negative um, 2 times 61, 22, t squared. So that's what, negative 122, t squared. So solving for that, so 5.5 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, square root that answer. You get a time of approximately 2.3 seconds. Make sense? 2.3 seconds, right? So now, let's go do it. So this is now how long it should take me to jump off. So we got to log back in, find our high place. So kids, you want to log back into where I was, guys? All right, here we go. This is my, I guess, there it is. The mob spotter. Ta -ta -ta. Ta -ta. All right. So what we're going to do is that's actually 61 blocks high. Y'all can see that. You get, you get ready for a fight because it's going to be mobs like crazy. <sighs> oh, snap. Oh. Blow up, blow up. Oh. Ah, yeah. Let's climb. Stop, children. I'm proud of you all. <laughs> Sacrifice yourself. Sacrifice. Just don't blow up the, 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 the scaffolding. Oh, gosh. There you go. Someone's dying. Someone's dying. Right, die. This is my mom's spotter. They spawn up there and they fall down and this cart picks up all the delicious jams and jellies that they drop. Just good times. Okay. A power. <laughs> I got bored. Look at that. Look at that. epic. Look at that. It's got like villagers and stuff in it. Okay. So what it is this? This is actually 61 blocks tall. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to run and I'm just going to jump straight off of this, obviously in the water. This guy's still down there. All right. So I'm going to run. <sighs> Start and stop it as soon as I go. Yeah. Woo! Okay. How bad? All right, kids, your turn. <laughs> Memories. Thank you all. That's good. That's good. Okay, so now let's go back and analyze. So now the time I actually got to fall was actually 2.4 seconds. So give or take a few tenths of a second. So just to let you all know, a tenth of a second, that's the blink of an eye. So we actually calculated the acceleration of Minecraft. It's actually 22.